Hey, Steph listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel. Good morning from Skift. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. Brought to you by Hot Seat, a new memoir from Jeff Immelt, the former CEO of General Electric. Immelt explores his time at the helm of one of the world's largest companies, from navigating a post-9-11 world to the 2008 financial crisis and more. Buy your copy today. It's Tuesday, March 30th in New York City, and now here's what you need to know about the business of travel today. American Airlines is gearing up for strong travel demand this summer by reactivating most of its 855 mainline aircraft by June. While this sounds like good news, pilot training backlog could slow things down for the carrier, writes airlines reporter Ned Russell. The Allied Pilots Association that represents pilots at the airline says American faces a lengthy training backlog as a result of both furloughed pilots and those who took voluntary leave coming back. This includes retraining crews from the four aircraft types retired during the pandemic and regular refresher training for active pilots. The group's spokesperson, Dennis Taille, said they're going to have the metal out there, they're going to have the passengers out there, but will they have the pilots to fly them? American spokesperson Matt Miller declined to comment on whether pilot staffing could delay the return of the airline's fleet. However, he noted that there is some flexibility in how many aircraft are back in service by the end of June. Next up, we have the latest from hospitality reporter Cameron Sparens, who brings readers exclusive insight into hotel deals and development every Monday in the early check-in column. This week, Sparens explains what happens now to the surplus of hotel rooms in Tokyo after Japan banned international spectators from attending the rescheduled Summer Olympics. Since Tokyo was first announced as the 2020 Summer Olympics host city in 2013, Tokyo added 250 hotels, or about 53,000 rooms, to its supply. Most hotel openings in Tokyo took place last year, when 58 hotels opened despite the pandemic. Even with that pace, there were reports in 2019 that the city was going to be short 14,000 hotel rooms each day. But that doesn't seem to be a concern anymore, now that the event will be a domestic travel-dominated affair. Finally, like everything else travel-related, the demands of super hosts have evolved in a post-pandemic world. That's why Expedia Group's Verbo unit has created a new recruitment program called Fast Start to lure in discouraged Airbnb hosts with a whole new set of incentives. The short-term rental unit has opened a dedicated phone line to handle what it calls an influx of defectors from Airbnb, writes executive editor Dennis Shaw. Cyril Ronk, president of Expedia's travel partner group, has said that short-term rentals have been a hot market over the last year following the onset of COVID-19. That means a lot of hosts from Airbnb have sought to join Verbo's ranks, he said. Skift asked Verbo to quantify those said gains, but a spokeswoman could only say that Verbo had more than 2 million whole home listings at the end of 2020. She declined to cite how many Airbnb hosts Verbo has signed, but added, I can tell you there was a significant influx from March 2020 onwards. We did open a dedicated phone line for Airbnb hosts to join Verbo because of this influx. For more travel stories, head to skift.com. To find these stories and more insight into the business of travel, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. Spoken Layer. 
Ryan Smith listeners. Hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel.